Okay, now we're back. Um, well, just open BMG Drive. And if you don't uh, are in window mode, just go into option. You have to be in window mode for this, so just do this. And just uncheck full screen. And maybe you have to restart the game or something, I don't know. Yep. When you're in window mode, just go play. Now we have a track here called Tutorial or your track name, I don't know. We will open this up and will be exactly the same track as the grid map. There will be no different on it except this is your track. So when we go into game, just press F11 and uh, to go to free camera mode you can press Control 1 on your keyboard or go here to Camera, World Camera, Standard. Okay, so there are some things we have to change, or, well, you don't want everything of this. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is just go into the scene here, the scene tree. If it looks like this for you, just press on the scene tree and the inspector. So they open up, and uh, well, just delete bumps one uh, all the way. One, yeah, all the bumps here. Just delete the folders and jumps. We don't need them. Camera bookmarks. We don't need them. Lights, static, uh, vegetation, water, roads, pipe lights, zone. Just mark this one. Hold Shift. Press on the new other zone on the bottom and delete now we are almost completed press J G on the keyboard to freeze the physics and so the car won't drop down when you delete this grid map so we're gonna delete the grid map now now we have the clear terrain that's yeah, ready to be modeled on. So what I'm gonna do is create a blank terrain. I'm gonna name it Tat Ter. So there. Just like that. And we're gonna have a just grid texture on it. Just to make it simple. Or so we go like step for step. I don't think we're gonna need noise. But maybe do that anyway yeah okay whoa <laughs> well you know what we delete this terrain too and <laughs> we do a new one and we have flat surface dot terrain yeah and we have Grid 512. This is the si size of the map. And well, okay, we'll keep it pretty small. I will just have it on 256. You can have it on 512 also. Okay, now that looks better. And uh, you have this, um, okay, say the selection, move selection. Z is up, uh, Y is, well, it depends how you stand, now it's back, and uh, uh, the X is left and right. Okay, we just press the whole, the, you see it highlights, the yellow here, on the Z axle, axis, just hold this one, and uh, you can drag the train up. I'm just gonna drag it so it's almost in the car here, just like that. Uh, the controls in the editor is A to left, D to right, S to go back, and W to go forward. You can also zoom on the scroll on the mouse, and if you click down the mouse, you can drag it around like this to get a more precise view on an object or something. 
if you right click you can look around with your head like this and to change the camera speed where you go forward and back you can change it here on camera speed put it on 137 you see this is pretty awesome when you you working on a little area on the track and you have to go all the way back all the way to the start maybe and it only goes like this fast it's pretty frustrating now you can just drag this up and whoop you're there so okay oh I see here um, there are some decals left so you have in this toolbar here you have everything you will need the train editor is to change the train height and low and everything the material painter or selector is to paint the kind of material grass and everything material editor is to change materials on object and uh, schedule bah, don't mind this decal tools is to add decals on the train and uh, well we don't need them right now so just press on the selection tool mark the mark it delete mark press delete okay now we good I'm just gonna slow the camera speed to 78 oh, that's good um, well the forest editor is exactly what it sound like it sounds like it's the forest you make the terrains or wait vegetable not <laughs> <laughs> hear me speaking, yeah, uh, the vegetation of it and uh, the mesh road is to make a like a 3D road or um, object road uh, while the road editor is make a road on the terrain shape tool, the shape editor is to change maybe may, when you import a new object you can add the collision River editor is exactly what it sounds like. Well, but we're gonna go to object editor at first now. And I see here our terrain is located in. Well, it's pretty right. You can see here that it's located right in here. Ooh, right then. Well, let's get started with a uh, road path. No, what they say, with the terrain painting. Well, while it's a flat surface like this, you can auto paint with this tool. It auto paints everything. But if you have a r really advanced terrain, it can sometimes crash and if it's really big. But we only have this grid material right now. But we're gonna add some new materials, like grass here gonna add this one uh, this is a simple terrain uh, so we can just press auto paint slope minimum and maximum is if the slope minimum is 30 it will not paint anything on the on a surface that's lower than 30 degrees but we wanted to paint everything so just have it the standard settings and generate Okay, so now we har have our grass, and it looks pretty good, but far from good actually. But yeah, and uh, we're gonna change some. It's just a flat terrain; it's pretty boring. So go into the terrain editor. Okay, here we have some tools. This tool, grab terrain, means. Oh, you can change the size of this. Uh, what can I say? Of this brush by holding Control and Scroll, or just change it here. Uh, and you can, yeah, we just keep it simple. What the grab terrain does is that it it grabs the terrain, and which direction you move your mouse up or down, it will, yeah, go up and down like this so it's a really powerful tool to use this will, this tool it is, is exactly what it looks like arrow up uh, rise height so it will rise the train if you just click and this will do the same but lower it 
what this does is will sl uh, smooth it out. I don't like the smooth tools in this editor, but anyway, it's the only thing that is in here. So this will smooth flat surface, and this will sl uh, smooth uh, slopes. Paint noise. This is perfect when making some terrains around, and flatten. Yeah, it just flatten the texture, and this is to set the height to flatten it. So you can choose a height and use that height and just stop there. I've never used those because, well, I don't want to clear the terrain. So, well, we're just gonna use the paint noise, make the brush size 40 maximum, and just paint some. Press your mouse button, your left one, to make some terrains like this. I'm gonna make a pretty big mountain right there. And we just drag it around like that. Okay. This is not a good looking track, but so uh, we get an understanding of the terrain. So, but now we have done this. Is it pretty unrealistic with the with a terrain like this? It just grass over the whole thing. So there's one thing we're gonna have to change is the terrain painter again. So go into the terrain painter. We're gonna add some rocks or on the cliffs because that's more realistic. Then go into new layer, add rock, apply and select. Uh, before you paint, you have to change their slope mask. It's exactly what it did in the auto paint. It prevents the deep or the terrain material to be painted on flat surface. So I'm just gonna use it to 40 degrees. Oh, 40. So now it will only paint between 40 degrees and 90 degrees. That makes I can paint it here. Nothing happens. But if I drag my tool, you see. If we just paint on surface that has that angle, so I'm just gonna make it fast here. See, still look, it's looking much better right now, actually. I think. Okay. Now we just do it like that.